Hi, I'm Bob from Radar Busters. Thanks for uh, tuning in. I have a Cobra Road Scout here, and we're going to do this as an instructional video on how to program this. Now, for those of you who are, uh, drive with radar detectors, uh, this is going to be a little bit different because every other radar detector pretty much has its controls and programming uh, changed by way of push buttons, pluses and minuses and things like this. This is actually a novel product, unique in that you make changes by rotating the knob here, through, which I actually find, once you get past a little bit of the, it makes a little different type of programming, it's actually really cool. You can just rotate really quickly. In this case, I'm just doing it on volume because I'm not in programming mode. But you can see it gets really loud and I can just go like that. Instead of down, 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 it's just like, woo! I love it. So let's get closer in here and then we're gonna show you how to uh, uh, bring up the programming side. Now there's two sides of this detector the, because it's a two-in-one product. There's the camera side and then there's the uh, radar side. So you can access programming in uh, this detector for both, just like you can with the, uh, the detector. The Drive HD is going to uh, control the camera aspects and allow you to get videos and things like that. Uh, the Cobra Eye Radar is going to allow you to control aspects of the detector as well. But you can do both in the detector itself through programming. So the sensitivity and bright settings, you press and hold. Menu. Okay, radar. and you can see there's the menu. So now you see the dial here radar. as you do to select. Radar. You see that little arch? That's how you radar. select. And when the, when the letters radar. are white, that's the mode you're wanting to change. Camera. And then hit the enter key. Radar to uh, make, uh, get into the mode. So now you can see we're in user mode. I can hit mark. I'm in standard. Simple. simple. For guys like me, I can be pretty simple at times. Standard. And I'm gonna go back to standard. And then you hit mark, and then you're gonna go standard. back to the upper level of the menu. Bar. Scanning bar, you can turn, you press the bar. mark, you get down to the scanning bar uh, position. You can turn it on to the left. Bar or turn clockwise and turn it back on. Mark it, we go to the display color. This is where you're gonna see some pretty cool stuff. So that's the display color. Oh, okay. Blue, look at that. Orange. It's almost like an indigo. Radar, Red. Uh, that's orange and now we got red. Green. We're back to green, that's my preference, but you can set it to your car. You can turn on the alert ring. Leave Number it on, that's the default. On. Speed display. Speed display. On. On. It's good to use Off. it, I think. Speed display. Off. Yeah. Off. There was a car that I had years ago that had a broken speedometer. Speed that was on. cool because then I was able to use a detector that had on. a... Uh... Speed display. Okay. On. Speed mute. 45. Yeah, now you can set here speed the speed alert. in which speed the detector doesn't uh, it alerts muted. I have it set to 45 if you wanted to set it for around town. 35. That way, any uh, the alerts below the speed you're going, you're, you're going to get muted. So you see how far we can take it up. So if you're on a doing a long distance cruising, wow, keep going. All right, well, I, I dare anybody to drive with that. Okay. If you're on the highway, like where there's 65 or 70, you could probably get away with 85, and anything below that speed, uh, you wouldn't, you get an immune alert. So I'm going to turn it back to where I was at 45. We're back to speed mute. You see the white, so I'm going to change it. Speed alert. I have it set its default to 70. I turn it uh, to 100. And I'm going to get an over speed. You can also set it to the speed limit based on real time. So if you wanted to market 15, it, 20, over, 15, over, alert 15 above the posted limit. If it's got it in the database, 25, you could do that. Over, off, 25, so I'm going to leave it off. I'm not going to worry about it. Speed limit. Over, speed limit, speed limit, speed limit. Okay. Five, over. Okay, you see that? So you can set it. Speed limit. I'm over, going to go back to the... Limit. Uh, Okay, I'm going to display frequencies. You can turn it off. Oh, okay, almost got out of it. I'm going to turn auto mute on. Okay. You can go from English or metric. 
English. Leave it in English. English. Language. Language. English. Get English. down. Espanol. Mm. Terminado. Terminado. <laughs> okay, we we got out of it there. Auto. Menu. Radar. Oh, we're in. Uh, Modo usuario. Uh, Estándar. Uh, my Spanish isn't the greatest, but it's all there for those Espanol, for those habla Espanol. Okay, there's the language. Okay, we're going to go back to English. 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 Okay. Language. Back English. to ling uh, back to uh voice on. Okay, announce the voice of radar. On. Off. You can turn it off. On. We'll leave it on. Voice on. GPS filter. On. Again, this is like other detectors. Okay, so we have uh, the GPS filter. You off. can turn that on. That'll allow you to on. to uh, lock out locations. We're going GPS. to you can hours. set the auto power if the car comes to a stop. It's got an accelerometer in here too, which we'll talk about in a, in a little bit. Completed. But uh, nope, got out of the mode here. It would be nice if it gave you a little bit more time. I would. I'm going to ask to increase the time before it uh, times out. Scanning bar alert ring. Get up here. Okay. Frequency. Frequency display. Off. We can turn on or off. They're pretty simple. Okay, we have the auto mute Unit. feature on. English, English we language. did already. English. Okay. Voice on. Voice on for the on. Uh, off. On. For the alerts, I'm going to leave it on. on. That's the default. GPS filter on. I'm going to leave a GPS on. filter on. You can turn it off. off. If you on. don't want the GPS filtering. GPS filter. Auto, auto power. power. If, uh, this has an accelerometer, so if you off. park and it senses that the car is not moving, One hour. you can turn hour. it off. In, in time increments up to four hours. Oh, even eight now. Off. Okay, and at this point I'm going to leave auto, auto power, power off. Band settings. Okay, modify. now here's where we can modify the modify. bands that are uh, alerted to. On. Now, it's uh, I on. leave X band on when I'm driving in New Jersey but on. and Ohio, but uh, I'm going to turn it off here on. now because I'm traveling. K band, K -band, K -band I recommend on. you leave it on. You can turn it on or off. On. Of course, I'd recommend leaving it on. K, same with KA. You see on. the white is on, so we're right to the bands. On. Okay. Laser on. Laser is on. TSR Certainly you want to leave that on. on. And then the TSR, you on. can either turn that on or off. On. Okay. Modify. Okay. Exit. Okay, now in this case, Modify. you don't go, you go to exit because band you're making settings. the changes on all the band. We're back now to the top with the white. Location settings. Modify. Let's see what this Modify. is. Other. All right. On. Radar, yeah, this is the type of alerts that you can Red get. Light Red light camera, it's going to stay Red down there. We're going to leave all these speed on. Camera. You want to get alerted to on. speed traps and all these. Off. Air patrol, I'm not going to worry about on. that. Off. Too on much gas for those guys. Maybe if you're down by the border or something. Speed trap on. Off. I'm going to leave it on. on. That could be good if it's Air a known location. Off. Like in Pennsylvania, they have uh, Vascar, Modified. which doesn't use radar. And then when you're back to modify, exit. you exit. go to exit, you turn, and then Location hit enter, and you're back to the upper modify. part. Bluetooth on. All right, you want to leave Bluetooth on. Of course, you can do the same wi procedure, turn it on. on. Same with Wi-Fi, but let's go on. down and see what it looks like. Off. Yep, you're going to have to control the more advanced settings through the app. On. Okay? We're not going to delete any user locations, but if you collect a bunch and you want to delete them, you can do that. The same with the lockouts that you manually lock Completed. out. Versions. Let's take a look at the version. Okay. Gives you the version, and there's the version of the, uh, I don't know what the BLE stands for, GPS version. And there's your versions by rotating. Now look at this in the in the you can restore go through and update. Radar settings. Restore radar settings if you want. Factory settings. Set them restart. back to uh, restart. Oop, and now we get out of the uh, the menu. It menu. reset radar. it completely, so we lost our color. Went back to the standard blue. User mode. Standard update. Database. Okay. Database. No Wi-Fi connection, of course, but when we do a hotspot. Uh, or we join, you'll see what it's like. Firmware. 
you can update the firmware or the database wirelessly. That is pretty freaking cool. Okay. It's going to say no Wi-Fi connection, obviously. Okay. Firmware. Restore. Radar. Settings. Okay, let's get back. And I think that we're back to the beginning here. So let me go back. I want to change to... Orange. Red. Orange. Red. Green. To green. And I'm going to let this exit out. So that's just a basic look at the programming on the radar side.